What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the electrics. I just love her. Hopefully you guys are doing well. We had a great day at the beach. Yes. A nice afternoon off. Yes, it was nice. Um, so we, I, I just want to give a little warning. This video is probably going to be a little bit longer than our oh, usual is videos. It? What? Okay. Well, it could be. I don't really know because we're gonna have a little, our little like standard grocery haul. If um, you guys are new to the channel, we kind of do this a lot, so that's gonna take a few minutes. And then we plan on doing another scandalous Q and A. Scandalous Q and A. And we're also gonna do some some cooking. This is what we do for our Friday nights for you guys. You may not be seeing this on a Friday night, but this is how we spend our Friday nights. That's how we spend our Friday nights. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this. We got some good questions. We're gonna be answering some very juicy, juicy questions are you excited for that i'm a little bit scared but you'll, sure. be, you'll be okay i promise all right. All right. uh so we got some stuff at the store first to start things off um this is actually kind of most of the boring stuff cauliflower um i'll probably make some asparagus asparagus fries we're gonna air fry them oh we are gonna do the air fry oh, with this on. okay we'll, we'll do that then I'll, I'll do that for you rice cakes which are standard russell spoons Oh, I should be up right there. We found, are they in there? What? The little tiny, oh, they are, look at all. So these apparently are little gem lettuce hearts. They're little baby heads of lettuce. So what we plan on doing with these is I'm going to... We're going to review a vegetarian option, it must be. In here. Oh yeah, they, so these are the Nardines. Um, they're the beefless grounds. So she actually gave me, Christy gave me a very good idea. Uh, we'll do a little like lettuce. Um, taco salad. Taco salad with those or make like little lettuce, mini like lettuce, um, lettuce wraps. They're like lettuce wraps. So like chicken oh. or protein and then you lettuce yeah, wrap yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll do that. Uh, we're also gonna be air frying these. So these are the- You found those. Actually, you I've came, never seen them before. You came across these. So these are the, the people that make good life pizza. Um, the- Real good pizza. Real good pizza. Um, yeah, good life pizza. Real food. Um, we suck. Real food pizza. Real food pizza. So they- uh, Are real good. It's real good, real food. What Whatever. That's real. This is what they look like. Real food. Yeah. So they're they're artichoke and cheese. Poppers. Poppers. Oh, they're, and they're ch chicken breast. Oh, and so, and they're they're actually like be macro friendly. So I'm excited to give those. Twenty two grams shot. of protein per serving. Ten grams of fat and three grams of carbs. Yeah. So we're gonna give so. those a shot. We also I don't know if we're gonna try this tonight. We might as well. Um, we're gonna do these two pizza crusts. So these are actually pretty. These are almond flour and coconut flour. Yeah, so they're they're pretty macro friendly too. Um, mm -hmm. So we're gonna make probably one of those. So then we got snacks, guys. These are mushrooms. They're mushrooms. And snacks. the entire bag it's is 80 calories. 80 calories. So we'll probably dig into those too. Um, and then, then we got cod because we wanted to try the Walmart cod. Now I know in the past gross. when we brought up fish on this channel, we got a lot of flack for that. Uh, mainly because it was tilapia. Um, so we actually haven't really eaten much fish since. Um, bangs, which are really good too. Um, then Eric's two pounds of yogurt. It's actually four, but it's cool. Whatever. Cashew milk, of course. And then seasoning. Yeah, we got some seasoning too, because I'm probably gonna do, um, I don't know. I, I actually, I got inspired to do a, a mashed cauliflower I recipe. I am going to find that dessert recipe that calls for cauliflower. You let me know. She told me there was a dessert that yeah, has it's like an for, ice, like it's like an ice cream cauliflower recipe. Cauliflower and a banana. No, thank you. We also got over. some apples and pears, which yeah. are really good. Sugar-free ketchup, and then some sugar-free jam. Babe, do you want to hand me those two boxes over there? Because those are going to be in the thumbnail. We got our hands on actually. They're not so new anymore because everything on the West Coast is- Oh, they're so cute. Look, they look like actual chicken and waffles. I know, they have like little drumsticks in there. So uh, Post came out with maple bacon donut cereal for National Cereal Day. And, and they also came out with this oh, one, they're way which cuter. is their chicken and waffle cereal. So we're gonna be trying those or these in this video. This is basically like a snack fest with some- Yeah, snack fest, scandalous, the scandalous snack fest, I don't know. Thrown in, yeah. So, so. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Now it's time to make some food. Yeah, get cooking. Hey. Peasant. Peasant.
All right, hey, guys. My arms are like almost as lean as yours. I don't have lean arms. I just oh have Oh my really gosh, small are you arms. kidding me? No, your arms are so lean. Like, I have look super at small arms. Look at his shoulder. Look at that. Look at your, look your shoulder. At your shoulder. Do you, want, do you want me to start showing your shoulder striation that you always have? I don't have shoulder striations right now. But like seriously, let's compare. Like you're going to like. <laughs> my arms are terrible. Terribly. You have. Very terrible, lean arms. Terribly terrible. So guys, hi. hi. Welcome back to another video from us, The Electrics. It's so sick because we're almost about to hit 50,000 subscribers. I know, that's, that's crazy. That's so crazy. Never would imagine. Well, I mean, not in my second channel. Um, but that's crazy. I'm stoked about it. What is, I, I guess, everyone's really curious about what we want to do for our, I mean, you guys aren't really curious. I'm just making up the fact that you could be potentially curious about what we're going to be doing for 50,000 subscribers. Do you have any ideas for what you want to do? Oh, you're asking me? No, um, um Wall, <laughs> do you have any ideas what we should do for 50,000? Um, no, not really. Do wow, you? you took that much of I know. Um, <laughs> hmm, let me think about this. You don't. So that 5,000 calorie challenge, the problem with that is if we start doing calorie challenges, I can't, I can't do 5,000 calories right now. Not, not right now, no, 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 right no, no, not right now. But I'm saying like, if we were to do five, like, like I ate, a, like three quarters of a cup of oatmeal compared to my normal half cup and I was so full. Is today high carb day? No, I just like put my carbs in higher in the day. Oh. Or, like earlier in the day. Okay. Well, the problem I was just saying is I'm that- I'm just saying like my stomach is so small right now, there's no way I'd be able to do 5,000 calories. The problem I was saying is that if we do a calorie challenge, then everyone's gonna expect us to, to do calorie challenges. Like we were already doing cheat days a few months ago and we stopped them because I wanted, you know, you to be able to like, you know, get in shape for your shoots and everything mm -hmm. and people are still like keep doing cheat days do do more cheat and it's like maybe know. maybe for 50 well when are we gonna hit 50 kd probably think? like next week maybe i don't know oh, no we're not gonna be able to do that i was gonna say we could wait and we could do a cheat day for a 50k but we're gonna do a vegas cheat day after my shoots oh yes that, that and would it's be very, gonna very be fun. epic if you guys want to like let us know what you want to see down below that'd be great for a 50k yeah oh uh, should we try these i'm actually really curious to see what you think of the meatless the meatless uh, crumbles because I used to eat them all the time when I was vegan and they're like one of my favorite things ever. Mm. So is it just it's meatless crumbs? Did you show them? Hopefully you guys can see because we're recording this on the big the big boy camera tonight. Oh, actually, it focuses pretty good on the phone. I know. I feel like a legit right. YouTuber tonight with the camera. Oh yeah, that's way good. Why don't we go vegan? Why don't we? Yeah. I love veggie burgers. Babe, how many people do you think would want to watch vegan food challenges? I mean, a decent amount. That is true. Oh, we wouldn't be able to try cereal anymore, huh? Or, um, we can't eat our fish. We can't um, eat turkey. We can't eat chicken. We can't eat eggs. Oh, uh, no. I like eggs. I like eggs way too much. Never mind. Scratch that idea. Okay, these are really good. Very good. Very good. That's our next question. Will I make more? I'm um, sure if you want. I feel like the last time we had like little wraps like these were um, at your mom's house. Mm. His mom is the most considerate person ever. Every time we typically go there every Sundays, every Sunday nights for dinner. And she always texts me about like what we want to eat. And I'm like, oh, you know, just right. chicken and veggies. Chicken and I veggies always, is great. And my mom always cooks up. But what I love is that she does like the basic things like she'll cook up just mushrooms and she'll cook up just so i for me like and for you too but like mostly i feel like it's mm -hmm. mostly for me because i'm cutting right now she's very considerate yeah my mom is very considerate and my mom my family was always pretty broad, like like semi-healthy as a as a kid yeah speaking of semi-healthy i'm so stoked that these actually came out super good these are inspired by we actually brought her up in our last video nom yourself uh, Mary Mattern, who's a great chef, she has a vegan cookbook, mashed potato recipe, or mash, cauliflower mashed potato recipe, and I'm actually curious to see what you what you think first. So, what's is it just Here's cauliflower? Taste it. Taste it. Taste it. You're so weird. Stop. Just be honest. Okay, I already know from the face. Why is it so spicy? It's not spicy. Oh, it's got a little bit of pepper in it. It's got more than just a little pepper in my mouth. Is if, it, if it had more salt, it'd be good. Yeah, it's missing salt. I think it needs salt. There's I mean, just like no flavor to it. 
besides spice. It looks like mashed potatoes. It looks like just potatoes. like mashed potatoes. Presentation's on point. Well, next time I should follow the actual recipe. You didn't, you didn't even follow the recipe. No, it's a few steps in a recipe I followed, but. Oh. Oh, well. They look like mashed potatoes. You don't even have to do the pity fist pump. I know I suck. I know I suck. They at least look like mashed have potatoes. Have you cauliflower? My, cal right, you my asparagus. asparagus. <laughs> it's called asparagus I need, cauliflower. I need well, it's right there. You can Babe, get Babe, you have longer arms than I do. I do. I have such. Long he's arms. like. He's got like the arms like the extendable picker upper things. You know. You know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what you just You know said. how Stacia has that like long arm that folds out and then she can like pick up things off the floor? Mm -hmm. That's what your arms are. Oh, okay. Because they're extra long. It's good to know. I ate my asparagus like I would fries. They're asparagus fries. Mm -hmm. So after we did the last scandalous Q&A, you guys have really... Liked them? They did like it. I think they appreciated our honesty. We got a lot of requests to do another scandalous Q&A. And we got a lot of good questions this time. Well... I picked all these out. Do you think they're that good? I I thought they were great. Were there others that were like? Like I didn't know if it was just like it's it's just we're so redundant. Like we answered them oh. a lot, so I didn't know if you were oh. gonna be like, uh, why did you pick that one? Gotcha. Um, so our first one, we actually you know what I'm gonna start from the bottom. This one's from Brian, who says, "Hi, this isn't a scandalous question. It's actually funny because we thought this was kind of a scandalous question. Uh, I love to hear how you guys figured out your finances and who pays for what. Also, how long did it take, did it take you to get comfortable discussing finances? If that's weird with one, and it says read more, I don't know what else he said. We're very comfortable with our finances. We don't. We talk about everything. Yeah. There's, there's. You only make it weird. It's only weird if you make it weird, and if you." Everything is very factual when it comes to business, when it comes to finances, when it comes to real life stuff. Like there's no reason why you shouldn't be comfortable talking mm -hmm. to your partner. Neither of us have spending issues. Yeah, that's We're good. not in a ton of debt. We live extremely modestly. We, yeah, we do. Um, it's already pretty much, I mean, there's a separate question about, you know, how we make money and stuff like that, but it's kind of like hard enough here in San Diego. Uh, as a guy that does YouTube for a living to to live so I try to be as modest as possible with like, like what I spend my money it's on. It's really really so expensive to live here. His question is about who figured like who pays for what and how you guys figured that out like in my opinion like people that are married for 30 years still have to figure out how they spend and spend money and you know do all that so. We have say we I mean like obviously like we're not married so we have separate bank accounts and we have our own bills and that type of stuff so we're still figuring it out great videos you guys are two two together i would love to see chris to do a simple simple in quotation marks ten thousand calorie challenge with you um she ha can eat all of her favorite foods but she has to eat a lot in one day why are you guys so obsessed with and do you guys forget what i do for a living ten thousand calories oh like together ten thousand like i don't know let's just assume like, let's assume like you could eat eight and i could eat two let's assume that they meant individually there's no way i don't think i could do 10k all right i don't think i could anna asks under the sheets are you iron man the hulk thor or captain america quotation marks juicy question you are i'm gonna let you I'm iron gonna, man do you want to explain why i'm iron man i am iron <laughs> man is it because i think i think it's because your personality reminds me most of um What's his name? I Tony Stark. Tony, Tony Stark. Yeah, Tony Stark. Your personality, just like everything about you reminds me of him. Now, if I could answer that, I would me? say- For me? Well, I'm gonna answer for you. Oh, no, for yourself. No, Who do you for, think you for, are? No, for hey, myself. Those are male superheroes. No, but I'm gonna make up my own female superheroes oh, okay, for you right No, now. I'll make them up, then you have to tell me. Am I Wonder Woman? Well, hold on, I gotta say that I, I am, um, the Hulk, because I'm <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't I don't know. I don't know what I, I would agree with you. I think I'm Iron Man. You are definitely Iron Man. Alright. Am I Wonder Woman? Am I Catwoman? Am I um Oh, what's the what's the redhead in the Avengers? What's her name? What is I her? I never watched the Avengers. Oh great. We're totally gonna get roasted for this. Okay, those are only two female. No, you got oh, so what did I say? I said Wonder Woman, Catwoman. Oh, can you can you pick the uh, poison ivy from Batman? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Am I poison ivy? <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Let's figure out who the ch redhead is from Cap Avengers. Maybe maybe she is poison ivy. When the Wonder Woman movie came out, I got asked so many times if I was her stunt double. 
Oh, Black Widow? Scarlett Johansson? Oh, that's who I meant, Black Widow. I don't know what she looks like. But anyway. I got told all the time Bam. how much I looked like Wonder Woman. Hey, so. no, it's like, no, now look up Wonder Woman. And then Catwoman, I believe, is Sally Berry, so. Why don't we do, just let's just Avengers. It has nothing to do with their looks, it's who they are. Oh, really? As, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, I don't know how these women are. In Have bed. you ever seen Wonder Woman? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Everyone says, like, when we started dating, they said you look like Wonder Woman. Gal got it. Yes. They all, everyone that, I get that it. all the time. Yeah. Um, Which I think is so funny. Now, I don't know, like, to me, if I was in the sheets with Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, I'd be kind of scared because she's a very, she's, I'm Wonder Woman. I'm going to take control. <laughs> <sighs> and I wouldn't, I would be very opposed to that. I just don't want. You, uh, you don't like to be dominated. <sighs> I'm Wonder Woman. And I'm gonna dominate you. That's, that would scare me. <laughs> yeah, it would scare me. Eric, you're so weird. Okay. Okay, um, I'm not Wonder Woman then. I want to say Catwoman because you're like very like. Okay, I'm not gonna go into like, but. What? You're, Have you seen Catwoman? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Movie. But she like has the whip and she's very. I would like, say Black Widow, just because she is like. I think she's like the, the bad A out of all of them, but that's just me. I think I think uh, Catwoman is very bad A. Um, this one's from Tammy who says, question for Eric, how do you make money? Even before meeting Christy, you had a nice pad and in Cali, which is super expensive, do you have a quote unquote real job? Now, um, I feel like it's very important. Well, obviously I make money on YouTube. A lot of people don't understand that, but I make money through the ads that you see on YouTube. So. Um, whether that means like you kind of just clicking on the video, nice bitch, clicking on the video for and watching it for a minute or two. Um, but the ads, I make money through AdSense, which is a program that gets puts ads on videos. Um, I also make money through sponsorships. So when a company comes to me and they're like, hey, Eric, uh, we want to sponsor a video. Here's our product. Talk about it for 45 to 60 seconds. With, pro with things like that, I really only actually only talk about products that I would use myself. So if it was like a company that was like, hey, Eric, we want you to talk about a, um, I've had, like, for example, like body weight, like, like scales, scale companies always like, there's like three big scale companies that give, uh, food scales, weight scales, like everything to influencers. And they're like, Hey Eric, they'll come to me with the pitch and be like, we want you to support, um, like talk about our, um, our, our scale on, um, a challenge or do it, do a challenge and weigh yourself before and weigh yourself after. Um, and you know, have this cool. And I've actually had this request about three times on my channel and I personally have never, I've never accepted that because I don't think that people should do that. I don't think that's like a healthy uh, behavior to, uh, instill upon people. So like, I've never done that. Um, uh, like it's just not really like my thing. Uh, like the same thing goes for like, you know, fat, like, uh, fat loss pills and, um, you know, companies that like are obviously selling something that's completely outrageous and that doesn't work. Like I'd never pitch that to my audience because I don't want my audience to see that. Um, third way I make my money is uh, apparel, which is a very, very low amount of money. We kind of just do apparel just to like have it out there. Apparel is like, to me, cause we don't, like what we do is not sell clothes. Yeah. Apparel to me is like a team jersey. Right. So when you buy something that says Girl Hustle or you buy something that says, that has the Eric the Electric logo, that is like us is like, it's our team jerseys. So we don't do that to make money. Like you, we make maybe a couple hundred dollars. Like it's and not very much. I think I, to kind of close this out, cause I think it's like, you know, obviously it's a little, you know, redundant to keep talking about it. But uh, a lot of my friends are social media influencers like myself. Um, they're also YouTubers. They also edit videos. They also do so many different things. And to say that, what may not be a real job to a person that is used to working a nine to five job, it's which not traditional. is, yeah, exactly. Something that's not a traditional thing. Um, I think that's the general consensus now amongst, amongst a lot of older people mm -hmm. like, Oh, that's not a real job. But, and when in reality, I work 40 to 50 hours a week on my YouTube channel. You work 40 to longer than that, more than that probably on, on girls. Right now, well. just because like business is still new and yeah. I wear many hats. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, yeah, it's, it's almost good. insulting to, to say like what, what you, what you do is, is not a real job. Well, I, and I completely understand that. I think on the flip side, 
I was always told that with my degree, unless I went and pursued physical therapy, I would never have a career that I could live True. off of either. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Um, for people to be like, oh, so like after my divorce, people are like, all right, so are you going to like go get a real job now? And yeah. I was like, no, I have a company. Exactly. And people just don't understand that. Really so, understand that. so. Um, when, before I get to the next one, do you want to try yes. these? Yes. So these are made by the same people who make a uh, real good, um, like the pizzas and stuff. So we're really excited to try these. I didn't know that they had chicken. Are they made with like actual? I think, I think the crust is chicken. So they look like little hush puppies. I'm going to put Oh, there's bar. chicken. Wow. Oh, I can hang. That's really good. It's better with ketchup. Of course you put ketchup on it. Would you like it? Yeah, sure. A little bit. Blah, blah, blah. I can hang. I can hang. This one, I didn't really like understand too much because like everyone picks up their food. Why do food videos just to pick at your food? It's kind of not a good message for girls out there watching. So... I'm gonna take this one because I do pick up my food and you guys see me picking at my food, but I like, I'm picky because I care about what I put into my body. And when we like do food items like this, I typically do them just to taste test. And because this is like not something that I fuel my body with all day long. And so when I have a certain amount of macros that I'm trying to hit by the end of the day. Yeah, it's I do to have to be picky, yeah. but I do not promote a bad image for girls or anything like that. If anything, I'm an advocate to eat. The majority of the girls that come to me that I work with, I tell them you need to be eating more. Yeah. And so I hope that by showing that I can have a bite of something and be done is actually really good control versus I can't stop. So, I, I like you no, can interpret good. it however you want. But I think I think when people watch these videos, like we were watching, like we actually fell down the rabbit hole of muk 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 mukbangs, muk mukbangs. Uh, like actually watching other YouTubers that do them, and there's so much like, can you chew louder for me? And also <laughs> like stroke the food for me, That's and so like, weird. and it's just like. We like there is so much like not just fixation, but there's like so much drama wrapped up in that whole community, and it's like we kind of just do these for fun. Yeah, this is and it's just, just like, like, man, dude, I could only imagine like if I was like being like if I had four hundred, five hundred thousand people watching a mukbang video of me just eating food, and they're like, chew louder, be closer to the camera. Why is your food so close? Why are you? Do it's like so. It's so, like I mean, like we do these videos because we're both foodies. Yeah. And we find things and we're like, oh, I want to try that. And so we were like, when we first started this channel, because that's how we are, we were like, let's just film it. Because I love, like when I found Eric on YouTube, I what I loved about it was that he would try right. like all the foods that I wanted to try. And if he was like, ooh, this isn't very good. I'm like, sweet, I don't even have to buy it. And so that's kind of like my hope too for this, where I'm just like, hey, I tried it. This is what it was like. Now you can choose if you want to spend yeah. your money on it or not because we do that for you. So, like, I don't know. Anyway, you guys will interpret however you want to interpret it, but the we other do this thing, for fun. Yeah, the other thing we get, um, these aren't questions. I just thought these were kind of funny um, because we, like, love, we, lo we love each other so much and, like, the last thing I have towards you is resentment. Yeah. I sense a lot of underlying resentment between the two, these two. Bet they don't last to the end of the year. Uh, and the next one goes, I'm trying really hard to enjoy these videos, but as a couple, you always seem low-key irritated with each other. Me and Eric are <laughs> extremely sarcastic. Why did you? I know. <laughs> you suck. The only time we, we get irritated with each other is when we're trying to do the stupid thumbnail. Do you want me to take these off? Yes, my love. Okay. You should know this by now, you're a YouTuber. You just covered my bicep. We actually have to act scan and listen to this thumbnail. Like, lower your head a little bit. Lower it. Okay. That, that was perfect. Why don't you just sit on your... Because. That's why we couldn't take the thumbnail last time. Just shush it. You gotta act scandalous, baby. You gotta that is, like, that you gotta is my do, scandalous do this, face. Do this. At you or at the camera? Like, at the camera. 
surprise. Like, or act like, holy shit, I can't believe they just asked that. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, now I gotta focus on the food really quick because it's not focusing. Again? Which they, they saw because I'm putting it in the Cause video. Because I never put them in the video. Because it's so irritating. Eric's like, no, smile like this. Because I've been doing it. For, I've been putting doing it for and, so long that I'm like trying. But no. And it, so then we start the video, and then I'm just like. The the problem <laughs> with people that like come upon. I think most of these people, like, I've I've never seen that dude comment before. Uh, the problem with like these like people that come on our videos um, is that they just like they've never seen how we are, and so that's the first the first video they watch. They and, don't know us. And so like I don't really have too much of an issue with with that, but. Um, I'm, I think a lot of people don't know how I am and... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll make them better next time, okay? They're so spicy. Anyways, uh, we're, we, we love each other very we much. Do. And I, I guess I have to like, I, I'm just not like, I need to like put a disclaimer that says I'm being sarcastic whenever I say something that's sarcastic to me, because people yeah. just don't pick up on it. I'm pretty, I can be pretty salty too. And sometimes I do have attitude and typically it's just because I'm being hangry. Let's try. But what, what I love about Eric is that um, any time, like if we are irritated in real life, it's never at each other. It's always like, I'm, I'm irritated, but it's because of work or I'm irritated because of this. So it's, we love each other. Very much. Yes. You know what I also love? Me W two teams cereal. Which one do you want to try first? I want to try these ones. And so you can walk over ones first. Did you give her one? No. Yeah, I give her a half one. Okay, so this is chicken and waffle cereal from Post. There. Smells like ma maple. Oh my. God. <laughs> Not good. No. It smells like maple. Do you think that it does smell like maple? But do you? Oh, never mind. We got some gold flakes in there. So that is what the chicken and waffles cereal looks like from Post right there. Um, babe, do you want to? Can you milk me? Milk you? Yeah, just milk me. Milk you. I mean, you guys are gonna get some cleavage. Oh my god. This milk pour. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So what are you expecting here? Um. I got you a spoon down there. Oh, you. Oh, there's that's right there. okay. Um. Oh, okay, that works. I'll use this one to use that one. So, guys, there's like little teeny tiny, like they little look drumsticks. like little drumsticks. And then like little squares, like waffles. Like, that's, they killed the arm presentation. So, I'm actually not going to use a spoon. I just want to try each one. Okay, hold on. So, I'm going to get a, a spoonful here. Because if I think you, if you try something first, you guys are like me. You want to try something first. You want to try the whole thing. You want to try everything that it's all about. Nope. So I'm gonna try this thing first. Well, right, get get whatever you want to try can, first. I mean, try the chicken wing first. Ready? Ready to go. Okay, it all tastes the same. There's just different shapes. That's the chicken and waffles. Yep. It just tastes like maple. There's no chicken flavoring at all. I don't think there's supposed to be chicken flavor. I think it's just supposed to taste like maple. Well, not impressed. Yeah, they just taste like it. Actually, I like the maple flavor. Maple flavor is good, but don't they have like other maple cere like cereals? I think the only thing that makes this special, it's kind of like getting Lucky Charms that are like themed, and it tastes the same, but the marshmallows are exactly. shaped differently. So honestly, guys, what what would you give it on a scale of one to ten? Probably a six. I'd give it like I'd give it a five and a half, five. Yeah, that's pretty well on there. Okay, let's try the other one. Well, before we do that. Oh, we need to do some more questions. This one's from Ellen. It was pretty interesting to hear your political views. How do you feel about closed no, questions? No, let's not talk about politics. Next. I, Thank you, next. I think we're pretty open when it comes to most questions, though. Okay, go, fine. Oh, well, we don't have to talk about that one. Thank you, uh, Maybe in a future scandalous Q&A if you guys want to see another one. Um, how long was she married to her ex? Seven years. Well, six and a half years. The divorce was final right before seven years. We got divorced in April and we were married in May. Mm -hmm. So it was right about seven years. But we had been separated for after six. Throw it at her food bowl. Don't give it to her at the table. Throw, throw it in her food bowl. <laughs> it's wrapping crumbs on the floor. <laughs> How old are Eric, are Eric and Chrissy? This is not a scandalous question. I am 28 and he is 25. Right? You know my age. Babe, sometimes I think you're 12. I'd love to hear your, both your thoughts on space is fake and the flat earth theory. Space is not flake. Flake. 
space is not fake. I think the moon landing was fake. Yeah, we were watching and some the Earth is about that. definitely not flat. There's always possibilities for. Oh jeez, it's not uh, like it, the clearly there's a curvature. Clearly, I don't know. Um, yeah, but I, I think that space is totally real. I don't think. I think that my actual. It, this is this is this is it actually. It has to be real. The stars. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. what you got me though was with the space landing because I always thought that was real, and um, then I found out that like when they actually did it, they actually felt like it. If you were, if it was a real space landing, you would have seen the stars, and they didn't have any stars. It was completely black. And so I'm well, like, well, there were a lot of theories that were they were that it was proving and disproving about that yeah. um, picture. But they were saying that if he would have taken it at this angle with the reflection of the sun, like there was this whole documentary about it, it was very interesting. I I just don't believe that it happened. There's and and it doesn't make a difference, you know, whatever. Christy, what made you leave the Mormon church? <laughs> Whew. <laughs> like sweating like a, like a, like a hooker oh, in church. A whore in church. A whore in church. Um, it, uh, so I was born and raised Mormon. I considered myself Mormon up until I was probably, well, I'm still like technically a member of the church because my name is still in the records. Um, I left the, I technically like gradually stopped going to church when I was 23, I believe. And honestly, a lot of it was because I didn't, I don't agree with a, a lot of the rules and the things that they do. And the more I learned about the world and other cultures and that type of stuff. I just don't believe that that is the only way to live, to be happy and to, if there is an afterlife, if that's the only way that you're gonna be able to make it to the celestial kingdom with God and stuff. So, but there's, I could, we could have like an entire- Yeah, we actually had like a pretty big this. conversation in the car about, about Yeah, this we today. did. Um, and it's like, I feel like you can speak about this because you grew up Mormon that is like in your blood basically. And there's, there. so here's the thing. There is nothing wrong with the LDS church, the faith or the people. I think it's a great way to raise your children because they teach, they teach you how to be a good human mm -hmm. and to be Christ-like. Christ and I was gonna air quote that, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, and they have a lot of great philosophies and they have great integrity and everything like that. Um, but as far as myself wanting to dedicate my life to a religion that I don't believe is true, um, no. And I, and for the longest time, I thought that the only way you could be happy was if you were an active member of the church. And as I grew up, um, I saw other people who were just as happy or happier than a lot of Mormons that I knew. And I was like, huh, you don't have to be Mormon to be happy yeah. and to be successful and you know, have a, have a good family mm -hmm. and that, that type of stuff. So the more I learned about that, I just decided that I was in control of my life and I can create my own traditions and as long as I'm a good human and- it's all that matters. It's all that matters. So we it's could crazy. do like a whole. whole it's crazy thing today because we woke up to um, a. Uh, I woke up to a notification on my phone saying that there had been another gun uh, mm -hmm. mass shooting, and um, you know the fact that a you know white supremacist guy, uh, a complete nut job, uh, a disgusting. I don't even want to call him a human being. Walked into a mosque of people and literally shot forty people. So like sad. I'm gonna like just go and say that like that like there can be fanatics nut jobs crazies in every single religion out there in the world and it's just crazy to see like i'm i'm a religious person but even i i i think that in um pretty much every organized religion it gets extreme it gets crazy so like didn't didn't like because you're catholic you've got catholic. catholic well you have my my dad's Catholic. My mom's um, Christian. Wasn't it in the Catholic Church that the priests were like molesting yeah. children? Yeah. So like. So I mean, like, there's. And, and and then the Mormons had polygamy. 
yeah back in the day and it's so. like see see like whenever you bring you bring religion into it you always have to be like oh but oh, it's, oh, it's okay because like this so, like it's just, just to make people think that like we don't hate people in those religions no at all not at all so it's like you at know, the end of the day in the christian church there's so many messed up things that go on and like that's just it's hard because it's like you want to believe that religion and have and being involved in a certain religion like you everything you do is right everything about the religion is right but it's just not i i personally oh i hope i don't get backfired for saying this you may have to cut this out later um i personally believe that religion was brought to control people and to in, to instill a set of fear in people so that they will follow rules so if you athena snap at her she's Go. she knows how to like snap at her athena down um i so i think like back in the day like even like during the crusades and like everything like that it's all about having a set of rules to scare people into behaving really yeah like i think that's kind of like where it all came about but i mean like i even like even studying back to like the origins of christianity and that type of stuff i believe that christ was a real person was he the literal son of God? I don't know. There's just, there's a lot of things. All I can I just, say is that we have our beliefs and everyone has their own beliefs. Yeah, and, but whatever makes you happy and how you want to live, that's how it should be. That doesn't negatively impact others. That doesn't negatively impact others. And... Because everyone's... It know, doesn't matter your religion. If you are a stand... If you are... If you consider yourself Mormon or Catholic and you are a shitty person, like you're a shitty person. If you are Muslim or if you are, you know, whatever, and you're a good person, that is all that matters. If you're Buddhist or whatever, like it does not matter. It does not matter. So anyway, we may have to cut this entire segment. <laughs> that was like eight minutes of us talking about religion. See, this is why we don't do religion mm -hmm. um, or politics. Um, Rob Bliss asks, poop once a day, is that normal? I honestly don't know. I poop at least four times a day, but I eat a lot of fruit. Sounds like you have a very imbalanced diet or Well, no, I wouldn't necessarily say that because four times a day is extreme. That's that's something's going well, on. Well well, if you're like sick or something. Not not necessarily, but sometimes like I know of guys that would go like two, three, four times a day and it, their metab they eat a lot and their metabolisms are very, very efficient. So I think it's it's normal to go once a day or even every other day. It just depends on your I don't metabolism. Think every normal, yeah. It depends on your metabolism and the efficiency of your body. I go once a day. If I don't go once a day, I go once every other day. And people ask me about my poops a lot. My poops are actually normal. Once, once, like once after every a challenge, though. After a challenge, it's like getting the weight. The look, every I time I want to know details. Every time that someone asks me this question, I go look take a mason jar you take a piping kit and you dump a ton of icing into that pump that that kit it's basically your pipe it's like it that's exactly the way the human body and the digestive system is if you eat 14 pounds of food it's not all going to be out the next morning the body no, takes right, time right, 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 everyone's right. like dude you but shit. it's like, going to be sitting like in your small intestine exactly it, it's, gonna it's gonna slowly be going to slowly be. going up uh i mean i've had some poops that i've wanted to be like babe you gotta see this you gotta see this this is like no thanks but um, all, it's all normal. Um, I mean, after the challenge, I, it's actually it stays in my system longer. So I'll go like I'll poo. Like when we were doing our Texas tour, I was pooping like once, once every like three or four days, and that was horrible. And do you think it's just because you were so backed up? I was so backed up. So I don't things... know how you were even like in a good mood. If that was me, I would have been because I was with you, babe. <laughs> were and... you actually pretty low key miserable? No, I was actually really happy because I was with you. But you weren't like sick? No, I was just so happy. I just couldn't oh, poop. Okay. Um, the last question is from Raya, who says, can you and Christy smoke weed on camera? So I don't know where this, this, this like came about where that like we actually smoke weed. It's literally what people like, it's crazy when people jump to like these assumptions based on what you say. It's like, they said weed's okay. So therefore they must smoke weed. Eric, can you guys now co smoke weed on camera? First of all, that's never ever going to happen. Um, I don't think that's actually pitching a good message to the audience that watches us because we have a lot of uh, teenagers and, and young kids that actually do watch this channel. Like, I wouldn't want 
you know, those teenagers and young kids thinking that that's okay because I don't think, you know, teenagers and young kids should be smoking weed. Um, would you think the same about drinking alcohol on camera? Um, I would say, that's actually a good question. Um, I would say it's different for alcohol because um, alcohol is, um, it's a known, it's very known like alcohol can cause um, problems. Like I personally think that we, I think weed should be legal. I should, I think it should be legally, uh, it should be as legal as alcohol and should be taxed. There should be a certain age that you're able to use it. I think like when I was growing up as a kid, like it was known that like you do not touch alcohol. Like you don't yeah. touch it until you're 21. Right. With weed, it's still like, it's one of those things where like, eh, you don't really know. It's like kind of one of those things where I feel like you can get into more trouble with alcohol than you can with weed. Uh, well, right. And I think that there's not enough studies done on weed and the effects on youth, especially in the, those developmental years. But I'm pretty sure that they're starting to like show that if you smoke weed while your brain is still developing, so like in your junior high, high school years and that type of stuff, like it can actually affect you. You're going to have issues later. And so I don't think there's enough. I think the 21 age for alcohol is just for like responsibility reasons. But I think, I think, I think for I'll, weed, they... Uh, they may not make it for it to like stop impacting your brain. Maybe they would say, okay, you can't legally use it until you're 26. I think they should raise the age for alcohol consumption. I think. Oh, seriously? Oh, heck yeah. Oh. There's so many idiotic people drinking alcohol at 21. Like I, the human brain actually isn't fully developed until you're actually 24, 25. I think that's when, you, that's when you should start drinking. I think it should be way, way, way older. Um, so what do you feel about like in Europe? Because you can be 18. Yeah, um, it's well, I so I, there's a double edged sword to it. So when you're 18 and you have access to it, it like I like personally for me, because I like have like a rebel spirit by nature. If, oh, yes, you do. If I don't have if if I'm told no, I'm going to want it that much more. Yeah. And so I think that if alcohol would have been accessible to me when I was 18, I, w I wouldn't really care as much. I'd probably get out my partying in when I was 18, you know, instead of waiting until I was like 21 and then being like, "Ooh, I'm free. So it's all, I don't, I don't know. know. It's all opinion. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed another scandalous Q and A, you guys got to let us know down below and also post a scandalous question. Yeah. Let us know. We love doing these. If you guys enjoyed it, like I said, let us know. We had a good time. The electrics. All right. Oh, we didn't try. We didn't try this last cereal. Oh sh! Sit back down. <laughs> so that was uh, terribly awkward. That was terribly really awkward. Let's just put it on. Um, How about on top of this bowl? Ooh. Presentation is not on point. What is this supposed to be? Oh, maple bacon donuts. Maple bacon donuts. So they're little donuts. We would, we would have had so many upset people if we just ended it. That one's better than the other one. Yeah, it's definitely better. Because you can kind of taste the bacon. Oh, oh, yes, you can. Ooh. Are the cornflakes flavored? I don't know. Ooh, the cornflakes are good. Eight and a half out of ten. Oh, yeah, this one's way better than the other one for sure. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, <laughs> be sure to let us know. Post a scandalous question. The electrics are out. out.